been weeks after Clark County approved its own rules for its street food vendors, so now other cities are starting to approve theirs, and they look fairly similar. Yeah, but they're not identical, as 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthew explains. He goes over the differences and concerns there will always be more vendors that legal permits given out. This weltering heat is keeping street vendors busy this summer. The antidote, agua frescas. You can currently only get these legally from street vendors in unincorporated Clark County. You'll soon be seeing more of these in the next door cities when they create their own rules. They might have slight changes in them that could mean a big difference. You find more than just gas at this Southern Highland Circle K. Like there's one day I'll sell out of my fruit mix, which is mango, pineapple, strawberry, and peach. 16-year-old Alan Cadera and his dad, Jose Miguel, set up shop here two weeks ago. They're the first legal vendors in Clark County, and they're looking to expand. We have a few of these carts, and I really want to put them on a different cities. We'll be heard at a later meeting. Like in the city of Las Vegas, which introduced its rules in early June. North Las Vegas expects to introduce its own in July. Please vote. Henderson is expected to approve its own on Tuesday. The rules look nearly identical to those Clark County commissioners approved in April with the same distance and permitting requirements that Nevada legislators approved in 2023. So why participate in a system that is not allowing them to make a living. But Tony Ramirez with Make the Road Nevada says those rules are acting as a deterrent for unlicensed vendors that cannot afford the roughly $1,500 in licensing costs. The nonprofit is crowdfunding to help cover those, but distance requirements from places vendors say they make their most money could keep them operating in the shadows. As of now, Henderson is considering the need for legal vendors to relocate every 30 minutes. This is just an additional barrier on top of existing barriers. And now what about generator? You need our generator to run the equipment. And without uniform rules, even legal vendors say legal operations could get messy. Ryan Maffey, 8 News Now. Only two permits have been approved in nearly two months in unincorporated Clark County. North Las Vegas tells Ryan they expect to pass its rules by the end of July. Now the city of Las Vegas looking to end of August to approve theirs with the potential to double fines for being out of compliance. Denise.